Hey everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome back to my channel. This is Lighting Lavender where we talk about all things books and my own writing journey. And today I've got my March fairy loot. Yes, it is March. <laughs> with all of these videos I can not for the life of me remember what this themed box is or I do I have any idea of what is inside it so let's just see what we've got also apologies for my hair I've had it cut today um, and it's done like a Ford fringe look and I'm not entirely sure if I like it or not so it may change throughout the course of this video here is this month's spoiler card and it says that this month's theme is threads of fate that was a lot of sounds in one go and I almost stumbled over all of them um, I'm trying not to read this but I love the design on this card it is it's just so beautiful I feel like these work better as just like the generic art prints for the bo box rather than some of the art prints we actually get the first thing inside the box was very visible you probably saw it before I picked it up but it is this little tin it says on it don't chase fate let fate chase you and then it says axi ho I'm not sure who that is it looks like oh and then inside there's this as well and this one says wait for me where the land meets the sea it looks like another tea um, pot thing I didn't use the last one but I've started working in the office so I think I might start putting my tea in this to take in with me because I don't work there all the time so I don't want to just like Constantly take it at the moment it's going in a plastic bag whereas if I just put some in here and I can leave it in my locker and it'll be it'll keep it nice and safe I think so I might do that because the boxes kind of like get a bit mm, after a while but this might be quite useful to have for work and it gives me a reason to actually <laughs> use one of these little dishes the next thing inside the box is this it just says threads of fate and then fairyloot.com i think it's a pack of playing cards so we have had playing cards before from fairyloot i think it was a couple of years ago and i said i really liked the fact that i got playing cards because i've never had them and then have i played any games that require a playing card no, no i haven't so maybe i need to stop playing <laughs> like a physical solitaire again or something because I don't do that anymore they used to be like a massive thing like late 90s early 2000s Does anyone else like actually play card games with cards I'm trying not to break the box oh they're nice so we've got like this beautiful like a red foiled edge oh these are quite pretty cards actually I'm guessing these like the character cards have got I'm guessing they're inspired by the book um, but they're just standard sort of playing cards I do love like the picture cards though the artwork on them is absolutely gorgeous and it looks like each suit is a different family there's our spades and then clubs let me get to them are these ones I'm trying to show it <laughs> I can't see what's actually on my phone screen so apologies um, I'm trying to bend my arm in my typical weird arm bending. Uh, <laughs> these are the hearts. So, Jack, Queen, and King, and then the diamonds, which might be easier to show. Oh, I like that one. I'm guessing that one's from the Six Crimson, uh, Six Crimson Cranes. It's literally behind me. And then, oh that one this is actually a really good oh and that's the back design so the same as the card they're quite thin and um, they're not as thick as usual playing cards and they've already sort of like curved just from quickly flicking through them um there's no jokers in there which i'm a little bit sad at because i do love a, a wild card in my pack of deck cards but i do like that that's actually a really nice pack and yeah like i said maybe i will play solitaire and yeah, when I go away, take cards with me. So we've got like games to play with cards rather than just like having nothing to do in an evening. The next thing inside the box is this. It looks like, oh, a pillowcase. I do like these. I just don't have any pillows for them. So this has got a quote on it on the side. And then it is just the artwork on here. And the quote is, <laughs> only one thing is more powerful than a wish. And that is, a purpose. Oh, Jordan Equator. So I'm guessing this is from Ray Bearer or the sequel. I can't 
can't remember what the sequel's called. It says Ray Bearer, so I'm guessing they're just doing either that one, but this one looks more like the sequel's cover pattern, um, from what I remember, or it's a special edition pattern for one. But it doesn't look like the standard sort of cover. But I love the cushions, but I don't have any cushions to fit them. I don't have a big enough house to like use all these things. Like I love cushion covers because I would love to have like a cozy chair covered in these beautiful cushion covers and I could just sit and read in the chair but I don't really have a lot of space. Which is why <laughs> I'm trying to buy a house so I have more space and I can have my fancy little chaise lounge that I would love to have just like in the corner. The next thing inside the box is this. It says a Cerse woodmark so I'm guessing that this is a fancy bookmark made of wood and I would be right. <laughs> So this is Cerf and then a lion. I can't really remember the story of Cerf, like in Greek mythology. It looks like that has been printed on top, um, but it's quite a nice sort of pattern. I like the vibrant sort of orangey red on there. It looks more red on camera, but it's definitely more orange in real life. It looks like a piece of sort of two ply, not very thick wood, kind of like a lollipop stick that you get like. I reckon I could snap this if I really wanted to. So it's not like the best quality. It's pretty standard. Um, but yeah, I kind of like it, but also it's like mm, quite, quite flimsy. And the price we pay for these boxes, I guess the most expensive thing is this. I don't know if it'll be this or the cushion cover. I mean, I think I'll get more use out of this one. So we've got this one's tarot card, which is the Fool and the Magician. I can't believe we've actually reached the Major Arcana. I don't know if we... I don't know if I've got a full set of tarot cards now. I'm have to go through them all. But can we just appreciate how stunning these are? Like, oh, the artwork on these are amazing. I'm loving like the rose patterns and just mm, the blues and the greens. I feel it. This is my colours currently. I'm just like in a very sort of like light blue mood. Which is strange because usually it's purple. Um, but I do love the tarot cards. I just need to see how many I've got. And do I have a fancy tarot deck now? Because that would be pretty cool if I can actually collect all of the tarot cards. And if not, I may be tempted to try and find them. Just so I have like a full set. I need to see which ones I don't have. And the final thing before the book in the box is this sticker sheet. I guess if you like the Raven Boys, I've never read it. Um, then this is quite cool but I never really know what to do with stickers I don't bullet journal and I just have like a functional planner because I'm 30 I don't journal a lot in general but I am trying to journal but again I've not read this book and these are like quite specific characters so I don't think I could just use them generically however I might have to because these are not something that I feel like I could pass on to anyone because I don't know anyone who has read the series I would appreciate them and want to use them so maybe I just like dot them around in the plethora of notebooks that I've got as just like ideas and vibes and sort of thing. So here is this month's book I can already see the edge and I love the blue it looks a bit lighter than in the um camera. My words are going oh let me get the things out before I try and take the book out and then just chuck everything over. So here is the bookmark that matches the spoiler card and then here is the author letter. Again, I have no idea what this book is so I'm trying to hide it so I can't see who the name might be. So this is this month's book. Why can I never get out of these bags properly? Ta -da! The girl who fell beneath the sea. Oh, so it matches with the tea tin. That makes sense why I did not know the name of this person. I'm guessing this is... I don't know if it's a thing yet. Ooh, look at that. Fairy Lure is really up in the game on like the way they're making these books. I have no idea what the original was for this. I think I might have actually heard of this one though. I feel like this title is familiar. Um, oh yes, they are definitely up in their game. So <laughs> here is the bear cover. There's nothing under the dust jacket, which I've said before, I don't really mind too much because I don't look at that, but mm that sort of like serpent dragon well the sort of like original east asian style or at least chinese dragons are more like serpent-esque oh, oh, that's beautiful as well that sort of do that way yeah it sort of like matches that sort of vibe there 
And then we have this end page, which is absolutely stunning. And then a separate scene on the back. Honestly, this is why I get a fairy lit more than anything because these books are so beautiful and recently, since they've changed how they're doing them, I love them even more, even if I don't read the books. I really need to start getting through all these. And then here is the signature from the author. I like that, that's a nice signature. I wish that the pen name I chose made it easy to do that. It doesn't look like it would take too long to get through. It's about 320-ish pages. I think it'd be quite a quick read if I just sat and read it. <laughs> I kind of don't want to read the blurb for this because I feel like anything that I read will spoil the story and I'm really intrigued. I just quickly read the bottom part and it says that it's based on a Korean myth or fairy tale, a uh, Korean legend and it's perfect for fans of Uprooted and Spirited Away. So I love Spirited Away <laughs> and I don't want to ruin it because I feel like, especially that film, if you know what's happening, I mean, I've already watched it and I will watch it multiple times and I love it every single time but I think if you're going into it for the first time you don't want to have too many elements ruined for you because it just doesn't make it as good whereas I think this might be the same for this sort of book as well so I'm not going to read the blurb out loud but I am excited to try and get around to it but look, just look at behind me at the number of books on this already it's like one, two, three, four five six se oh no that one i've read six six fairy loop books behind me that i've not read and there's probably like <laughs> oh i don't even want to know how many fairy loop books i've not read but it's the majority of them i need to just sit and read them all but i digress one day i'll get through them all but not that day is not today. So let's quickly go through the spoiler card. I don't know if we got the final item. There was an item that was missing. And then in the shipping update, it said that US and Canada, maybe somewhere else, wouldn't be getting it until the next box. But I'm not sure if we did. So let's just quickly review. So the woodmark was made by Avondale Art and was inspired by Circe by Madeline Miller. The sticker sheet was inspired inspired by the raven cycle and that was done by v viva a and oh it says to put like on laptops and stuff maybe i'll put one on my laptop because i use my laptop mainly for writing and that kind of fits the vibe uh, the ray bearer cushion cover was designed by blanker.design and was inspired by ray bearer the threads of fate tea tin was designed by chatty nora which matches the featured box on this month my words sometimes do not compute and the threads of fate playing cards are designed by n-a-i-i-v-u and the diamond suit is from six crimson cranes the spades are jade fire gold huh. uh, clubs are only a monster and hearts are daughter of the moon goddess oh interesting and the tarot cards this month were by odds 28 and they feature Xing ying as the fool and one she as the magician and they're from daughter of the moon goddess and i probably butchered those pronunciations because as much as i try i can't quite get my like mouth around pronunciations for eastern asian languages i just i feel like my mouth spawns too much and it makes me sad because i don't feel like i'll ever be able to speak those languages so this was the box for this month i'm trying to figure out what the most expensive part was it was probably the cushion cover but again like i said last month these boxes are now like nearly 35 pounds i think pretty much what i'm doing is just waiting for the option to have the ya box and the adult box as one box um i know you can just do book only now for ya but i would rather do book only and have them combined so they both come in the same package just to save a little more because I do like some of the items from here, like the tea tin is beautiful and I will find a use for it but I've already got one that I don't use and I feel like I'm just getting loads and loads of things that I'm just not getting any use out of and yeah it's just not sitting right with me that I'm spending this much money on things I'm not really using or wanting so I will probably be moving to the YA and adult book subscription book only thing because it'll save me quite a bit of money <laughs> to do that as well as save me some space and if I'm trying to buy a house and move I'm gonna need some space and less things to have to pack and deal with that being said I need to go through all the things I have received from Fairy Loot 
and see if anyone else would like them because they are just sort of like piling up in a corner and I'm not getting any use out of them and I feel like other people would prefer them. Let me know what you thought to this month's box. Is there anything here that you thought was really good or anything that you thought was a bit meh? Did you think this box was good? Did you think it fit the theme okay? I feel like... <sighs> Fairy loot tends to kind of vibe with its themes quite well. I don't think it always does like the fandoms very well, but I feel like it tends to vibe the themes pretty decently. But I just, yeah, I'm not sure on the price anymore, especially because they put the price up by like a few pounds and I just don't know. I know it was mainly for the book, but with everything going up and being more expensive, it's just like an extra cost that I don't know if I need anymore. So, but I've been saying this for like, 18 months so who knows what will happen i hope you liked this video and if you did don't forget to give it a like and if you want to see more of my videos don't forget to hit subscribe there's a new one out every single week i hope you're all well and you're all staying safe and until next time bye